ready to start? How long y'all been here? About five minutes. God, dog. Hey, I know we all have busy schedules and responsibilities, but our meeting starts at 920 every uh, Friday. So if you'll just make sure you put that on the top of your priority list. Yes, sure. Thank you I so much. I won't happen no more. I appreciate that. I know I, I understand we're busy, but thank you. Yes, ma'am. We got a dog on playoff game coming up, and I got a player in ISS at the start. Ain't no matter play. Ain't no better play. That's all crazy, yeah. man. It always happened though. That's something crazy that come up. All right, y'all. Let's worry. get back. Let's get back on track. Let's just go ahead and turn it over to Miss Askew. She's going to discuss our data for the week. The data for this week shows. This is Miss um, Bartlett's class data. It shows that they the students completed the words for this week with 68% accuracy. Um, out of the five questions, the most accurate was to put into words or to speak. Um, they got that one correct the most. The least um, one that they got seen, like to me, should have been the easiest. It was a person who sings a vocalist. I don't know. Probably one of the reasons why, because it was a big word, you know, it was longer. Some of the other words are a little short. Okay, so the way we monitor, we monitor throughout the week with the quiz it down. So once they take that quiz, you know, so it changed for like every nine weeks, right? So every nine weeks we get different sets of kids. And so through the quiz it, that's how we monitor and um, keep up with their data. y'all happy Friday thank you for coming um, here's the agenda that I shared with you on Wednesday for today's meeting um, I also want to remind you guys that your data is due to miss ask you um, every Thursday prior to our Friday meetings okay do you have any questions about that we good huh? okay so Based on the data um, that we've gathered over the weeks, Coach Thomas, your class seemed to be doing the best and everybody meeting the goal that we've set for them. Um, what are some things maybe that you're doing for your students that we can do for ours? Well, I can show you some help. Uh, we go over the words every single day and then I make them write sentences with it. Okay, so you make them write a sentence. All right, just one sentence or? A sentence for each word. It, for each word, and do y'all discuss the sentences or, you know? One a day. One a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm a team member, and I make sure that all my data is sent to Miss Askew for analysis and um, to possibly participate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am also the uh, timekeeper with Miss Trumbull. I make sure we all stay on task so we can get to other things that are important on the list and um, make sure we're good to go. I'm the timekeeper, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Keep her up there. All right. Just ask you. All right, just ask you. I'm the most important person in this group. <laughs> I run this operation. I'm in charge of all the data. So I receive the data from the team on Wednesdays and um, compile it so that we can see the progress that we're making. And, and so we analyze it throughout, during our meetings. So I am the data analyst, the most important person in this operation. 100%. Hi, Hi Ms. Trumbull. Hi. How do you do? And Phil's teaching. I am the note taker and the timekeeper. So I try to make sure that I have access to the document that is shared to me by Ms. Bartlett, and then we make sure that we share that with Dr. Adams as well. And I try to, I listen and pay attention to the discussion in the room and make notes about it. And then I make sure that everyone in our group has access to it. Also try to be respectful of the team members' time so that we um, usually are finished about after 30 minutes, and then um, they can have that the rest of that time for other purposes. 
team had decided that we're all studying vocabulary. We have very different groups. I have students with exceptionalities, with disabilities. Ms. Bartlett works with students who are learning English as their second language. And then our other team members um, also have a different focus in the classroom, but we all felt it was really valid to build vocabulary. Um, part of the challenging part of what we're doing, the way we challenge them is to help them understand relationships between words and how to use the root as a clue to the word meaning. And we use the same type of PowerPoint each week. We don't all implement it in the same way, but we use the same basic PowerPoint. Some of us have a vocabulary journal, some are recording in an online journal, and some have a bulletin board that is used in the classroom, a word wall. Now this week, here's our example, C-U-R, cur, means to care. And can you show us some of the words in that word family? So we have curious, which means you are gonna care about learning. Cure, which means you um, are going to care about creating that um, cure. Um, you're gonna go in and take care of um, an illness. And it, interestingly enough, it can also mean to preserve meats. And then I like secure versus insecure, which shows that you are gonna, secure is safe without cares. So as you can see, if we have, go back and have the students find that C-U-R in every word and explain how it is related to care, that can be a challenging activity.